What's up, Purists? It's Bob from Purist Motorsports. We swapped the hatch off the Celine to the race car. And um, there's a good reason why we did that. Let's talk about it. All right, so those that may not know, in the Celine world, there are, mm, if I can count them real quick off the top of my head, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different types of Celine wings from 84 to 93. Um, there are general types and then within that there are small minute changes within that. So uh, this one here is an aftermarket wing and you probably are going, well how can you tell that? Well I, I do know on some manufacturers there's a part number in that and I think Cervini's marks them with their name now but the big part of this is this part up here curves up it actually bows up and the factory Celine wing did not do that you look at it you can see the curve there now the regular 87 to 93 87 to 89 and then 92, 93 Celine wings pretty much flat right across here. That's what, uh, well, you can tell if it's been swapped. It is possible that Celine used a wing from another supplier that's not marked Celine on the bottom. Um, I do know there are cars from 87 to 89 that if you take the wing off, there's nothing underneath the foot, which typically it's marked with a little rectangle stamp that says Celine in it. So that being said, as Mark has alluded to, as well as I, documentation and pictures are key. So to prove what was on your car, you've got to look at that. But do know this is aftermarket 100%. The other reason is that this hatch is a DOT hatch. It's not a production line hatch, so there's no seam sealer in it whatsoever. It's just, well, it was, at least it's a DOT Ford hatch. It's actually got the Ford stamp in it, but that I did not want on the Bleakley car. Now the reason I swapped them is because the 1990 and 91 Celine wing actually use all of the LX wing mounting holes. Uh, it is called the double stack wing. So from 87 to 89, the wings are pretty much identical. Not a whole lot of changes. They're made out of fiberglass. So those are easier to spot because they weigh more uh, than the later 92, 93 wings, which we'll talk about in just a second. But this one is a fiberglass aftermarket piece. It was easy to tell. Uh, the other thing is that this was a DOT hatch from whatever happened to this Bleakley car at one point, it was replaced. The original hatch was replaced along with the original wing being gone. So that is why we swapped it. So here's the hatch. We moved over from the race car. Uh, unfortunately, it is not the same color. Although the code on the car, both cars is the same because the original door is still on the race car, amazingly. But the reason we swapped it as we mentioned is that it's a double stack wing. This wing is actually a lower piece that's fiberglass and an upper piece that's fiberglass. There are three different versions of this wing in two years. Um, common misbelief is that Celine just put a piece on top of an LX wing? That's not the case. It is both an upper and a lower piece specifically from Celine. The lower piece is fiberglass, it looks similar to, but it is much wider from edge to edge than the factory LX wing, or I guess you could say the 85, 86, 85 didn't have a brake light, 86 to 93 LX. Uh, 86 GT, all of that, blah, blah, blah. but 87 to 93 LX wing. It is not used by Celine. The only thing that they use are the holes, all the holes lined up on the bottom. So this wing 
was supposed to be, well, this style was supposed to be on this car. As best I could tell, this is one that would have come on this car. The manufacture date on the bottom of this wing is February of 1990. This car was built in May and June, completed in June of 1990, delivered in June of 1990. So this is most likely what this car would have had uh, on it before the hatch was swapped or whatever damage happened to it. So, we're going to take this and end up painting it at some point along with the hatch and the hood. But for right now, the safest place to store it was to put it on the car. And here's a few details about that. You can see here the design. Now, Cervini's does make a piece that emulates this wing, but it is only emulating it. It is not identical to this at all. It is close, but it's not, it's not the same. It actually bolts to the factory LX one. It sits higher, um, it's narrower, so it doesn't have the same dimensions as this. It just gives you a similar look, which is actually cool. Um, ironically, that one piece is as much as that wing right there. So that's why we swapped the hatch. And with that, the three different styles of this wing is very simple. There's a cutout on the later ones around this keyhole right here. It's a little cutout. It may come down a little further, but there's a little cutout right here. And then there's another version where these screws, this design in here is different. So depending on when your car was built, if you're looking for one of these, there may be those details that you need to consider. Please feel free to reach out to me and ask. I'll be glad to guide you. I know um, some people that have original cars. I know a couple of people, namely um, the Celine Ranch, who's restoring a couple of SCs, actually more than a couple, um, and has way more knowledge. Stu has way more knowledge on the specifics of these wings and the timeline. But I've mentioned this because there are three different types and it's a big deal when it gets down to originality as to what is correct for your car. Uh, the splitting of hairs, as they say. So those details, just like with Shelby's or with roof Porsches, those details add value. They make a difference. So paying attention is key, especially in Sling Club. Um, you got to get in and start asking questions if you have a car that needs one of these. But this wing is only used for two years, 1990. 1991, this style. There are some carryovers, early 90s can have the old style wing, like that. Um, although that's an aftermarket, it it's a good representation of that. We do have the actual, sorry, let's get this. This wing here is an actual 92, 93 wing, which is the same design dimensionally as the 87 to 89s. The difference is it is made out of what they called Centrix. Um, to my knowledge, from 1993 on, if you bought a wing from Celine, this is what you got. The easiest way to tell the difference between the Centrex wing and the fiberglass wing is to take and remove the tail light. And if the inside is rough, it's fiberglass. If the inside is very smooth and looks like plastic and there's a seam that actually runs all the way around, you can see within. If it's smooth inside, it's Centrix, and it is much lighter, much lighter. So this design is the same as the 87 to 93. And even though this car is almost four, it is a 93 Celine wing, well, 92, but 93 Centrex wing. So it's correct. I sought it out many years ago. But those three things, let's just break it down again because it's it's easy to get, let's break it down again because it's easy to get uh, lost in these details. And then we're talking about 87 and 93 cars. Um, the 87 to 89s have a fiberglass wing. Uh, like I said, some of those have stamps under the heel that say Celine, some of them may not. Uh, it's likely there was a supplier that supplied Celine with some at one point because their production got big, especially in 89, because that's really from 87 to 93. 89 is the largest production year. So 
Also, keep in mind, even though that was a large production year, Celine was still and is to this day a small manufacturer. So there are gonna be differences, just like 65 to 69 Shelby's. There are all kinds of production differences throughout that because it's really a small run manufacturer uh, done on a hand produced assembly line. So keep that in mind. So 87 to 89 is fiberglass. 9091 is also fiberglass, but it is a two piece design. There is an upper piece and a lower piece and both are Celine specific pieces. And then 92, 93, those cars are same as the 87 and 89 dimensionally, but it is made out of Centrex or plastic, if you want to call it. So that's really the difference in them. That's a quick education as to why we swapped out the hatch. I wanted, well, I wanted an original production style hatch on that with the seam sealer and I didn't want to have to drill all the holes on this thing. It just wasn't worth it. It was easier to swap it, especially since that car's had uh, new fenders put on it, a new front bumper and a different hatch. So it's not all original. Uh, we're just getting it back to what it would have been had it, well, had it not been in an accident or whatever. Uh, I'm not sure what happened to it. There is no Carfax history on it whatsoever. There is no wreck, no accident history at all. So that, I don't know, as good a guess as anybody's is mine. I it lived through Hurricane Katrina, a couple of counties in with a lot of winds, not direct hit, uh, who knows. But we swapped it for that. So for now, as we call it, Sanford and Son is going to have, well, a multicolor patchwork quilt of parts. And the uh, best place to store a wing is, well, something like this is on this because it's already been chipped up. So we'll have to have fiberglass repair done too. But anyways, that's an education on the 87 to 93 wings. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, tag, and share. Whether you're driving them or restoring them, always enjoy them. Peace.